Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I am Amanda and if you're new to my channel, it is all about camping. And today I wanted to talk to you about what the heck to pack for clothing when you go out car camping. So this video is for when you have a vehicle and you're driving up to a campsite somewhere in the forest or at a campground. I not only wanna share some of the actual specific pieces of clothing that I tend to bring a lot, but more importantly, what I am thinking about and what I am considering when I'm choosing clothes for a particular trip. Because of course the clothing and what you need is going to vary depending on the time of year and where you're camping, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully this video will give you a really good starting point of some things to keep in mind as you're packing. The first thing that I am checking and considering is of course the weather. So this is going to be a very big chunk of information that I'm gonna to use to decide what clothes to pack. So I'm always checking the weather before a trip. I'm looking at, you know, if there's gonna be any thunderstorms coming in, any cloud coverage, what the highs are, what the lows are, so that I can prepare for that range of temperatures that I'm gonna experience between the nighttime and the daytime. Another really important piece of the weather to look at is actually the wind. So since I film so much outdoors, I am always checking the wind, but the wind will also make things feel a lot colder. So factoring that in as well will be important. In addition to the weather, I also like to take into account the general climate for the area that I'm going. So for example, I grew up on the East Coast of the United States where it is super humid in the summer. And I've been living in Utah for the past like 10 years or so where it is really dry. So just kind of taking into account the general area that you're going in addition to that weather will really help you pack. So the weather and the climate are some of the biggest pieces of information that I'm using when I'm determining what time tops and bottoms that I want to be packing for a camping trip. In addition to actual clothes like, you know, pants and shirts, also be thinking about gloves and hats if you're going on a colder trip. Those items can really go a long way to keeping you warm if the temperatures are going to dip a lot at night. The next thing that I'm thinking about after the weather is adaptability. So I've checked the weather and it looks like it's going to be sunny and beautiful the entire trip. But what if that changes? That happens all the time in the mountains. Just yesterday, I was planning a day outdoors. I thought it was gonna be beautiful weather, check the weather, sunny day. I wake up and it rains the entire day. <laughs> so be prepared for your weather forecast to be wrong. And the question I'm always asking myself is how will I be able to adapt if it's colder than I expected, or if it's windier than I expected, or if it rains. So even if it's not forecasted to rain, I'm always packing my rain gear and I'm thinking in layers. Having layers will allow you to adapt to changing weather conditions by adding warmth or slowly taking it off as you get hot. So I really, really want to make sure that I have that extra warmth. And the nice thing about car camping is you're driving up in your vehicle so you can pack some extra layers. I'd rather you have more clothing than you actually need than for you to just pack one outfit and have no way to adapt to that changing weather. In general, when it comes to clothing that I'm wearing outdoors, when I'm outside enjoying nature, I'm really always looking for clothing that's going to be moisture wicking. Moisture wicking clothing is going to dry faster and help move that sweat off your skin. And so that's going to be an important thing that you want to think about when it comes to the actual actual pieces of clothing that you're choosing. The next thing that I am thinking about is durability. So your camping clothes are going to get stained, sweaty, stinky, ripped, burnt. Like they're just going to get <laughs> roughed up. So are you okay with the clothing items that you're choosing getting kind of ruined in that way? So for example, I do not wear my nice down jacket around a campfire. That is a really quick way to get a hole in it. Just a tiny little spark from a campfire will burn a hole through a down jacket or a synthetic fill jacket really quickly. So I tend to not wear my nice jackets like that around a campfire. This orange jacket right here. I got it a couple years ago and I loved it and I wore it out on a camping trip. The first trip I wore it on, I burnt a hole in it. So that's what this little patch is. So now it's kind of like a great camping jacket because I don't really care if more holes get in there. It's a great layer. It's not too warm, but it's just a good thing to kind of add on as the sun is setting and I'm getting kind of cool and I don't worry about it getting more holes in it. But that's the kind of stuff that can easily happen with these types of jackets. 
So as long as you're okay with whatever pants or shirts you're wearing kind of just getting a little bit roughed up, then you know that's fine. But there also are some more durable clothing options that you can look into as well. So these pants, for example, I love these. I think they call them utility leggings, but they have just a really durable type of material. So I'm not worried about them getting ripped or scratched. They're a little bit thicker, so they provide a little bit more warmth than like a yoga legging would, for example, which would rip really easily. I mean, I definitely wear yoga leggings out camping, but this is a great, if you're looking for like something durable, this is a great option. And I actually will link in the description below to a lot of clothing that I do wear. So you can um, check that out if you want specifics, but these are from Carhartt and I love them as just a really good kind of rugged, durable option. In addition to that, I would say, you know, talking about sitting around a campfire, right? That's something that we all love to do when we're out camping. This jacket, both Nick and I have one of these from Carhartt, and it's just this nice canvas material. It's really warm. I bought kind of a slightly bigger size so that I can layer underneath it, like we were talking about. I could put a fleece underneath this, and then this on top if I'm getting really cold. So, but this type of thing is great for around a campfire because it's not really gonna get a hole in it very easily. And so it's just super durable. And I love kind of having this type of an option around camp. Another pant that I love, I've talked about this in another video, are these Prana Cohen pants. And these are very lightweight. I wear these hiking a lot. You know, they're, they're more durable, I would think, than a, a, a yoga pant. So these are super lightweight. They're moisture wicking. They dry super fast. And so I love to have these around camp as well. So just thinking through the activities that you're gonna be doing at camp and that kind of stuff will help you decide what clothes to wear. Another thing to think about that's not really related to durability, but is important to think about is mosquitoes and ticks. Like if they're gonna be an issue in the area that you're going, you can choose clothing that will help protect your legs and your arms from ticks and mosquitoes. So just thinking about that as well will be important in, in the clothing that you choose. So the last thing that I wanna talk about is the clothing clothing that you're going to sleep in. So during the day at camp, I'm usually out and about running around. I'm eating, I'm cooking, I'm hanging around out around the campfire, I'm sweating, I'm getting dirty, right? So you're kind of really outdoors, enjoying the day, getting sweaty and dirty in those clothing. So I want to always be able to get into my tent and have clean and dry clothing to put on to sleep in. So I'll bring a set of clothes, pants or you know a shirt, whatever it is that I'm gonna bring. I'll bring that and I'll bring a fresh pair of socks to sleep in only. So I do not cook in my sleeping clothes. I do not eat in my sleeping clothes. When I wake up in the morning, I change and I go about my day. So it's always important to have clean and dry clothes to put on at night. Now, in terms of what exactly you bring for sleeping clothes will be dependent on the weather and things like your sleeping pad and your sleeping bag. So again, that's going to probably change trip to trip depending on where you are and the time of year. But in general, just making sure that you have those clean and dry clothes to get into the tent at night is going to be really important. Again, when it comes to my sleeping clothes, I want clothes that's going to be moisture wicking so that I can stay dry at night while I'm in the tent. All right, so that rounds out the really important things that I'm thinking about and that I'm considering when I'm choosing car camping clothing. I hope this has been helpful in helping you kind of navigate all the camping stuff. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below. I love hearing from you and check out the description box. I'll have links to some of the clothing that I like and also some other videos if you're new to camping. I have tons of resources on this channel. So I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.